a couple of days ago, I put up a couple of posts looking at the presence of a very, very sharp break in the number of COVID cases being reported in red states as compared with blue states. And the fact that that very sharp break coincides exactly with the day that responsibility for data was handed from the Centers for Disease Control to Health and Human Services. Uh, I'm going to take those posts down and back away from that a little bit, and I want to talk to you about why. First, it turns out that about half of this effect is due to what's going on in Texas and Florida, and I had not looked closely enough at those, and in particular, I had not looked at changes that had been made at the county level in Miami-Dade County in, uh, in Florida. And so when I took Texas and Florida out of this entirely, I was not left with as large an effect. So, a smaller effect size. But I did look at the data in other ways. For example, I looked at the statistics of the slope across that divide. Um, saying here there's a break in the slope, here there wasn't. And I went through and looked at that on a state-by-state -state basis. And it still remained the case that on a state-by-state -state basis, when you looked at that across that divide, there was very little variation among blue states and a great deal of variation among red states, even when Texas and, and Florida were removed. And so there's still clearly something that is unusual about these data. Red state data right after the middle of July are a little bit wonky. Now, so why pull the original post down? Okay, one, if you remove Florida and Texas, the effect is, is smaller. Probably a more important reason, frankly, is that I really couldn't identify a specific mechanism whereby Health and Human Services could interfere with case number data without it showing up in state data. Uh, I talked to a bunch of people. I read into a bunch of documents. I'll be honest and say that I got different answers. Um, and I'm going to have to leave it as saying that it is unclear to me whether there is a mechanism whereby the, the HHS system can influence total case counts. The real reason, though, is that I didn't like the direction that a lot of the conversation was going. There were people who were starting to take the discussion in the direction of calling into question the importance of public health infrastructure or calling into question the efficacy of masks and social distancing and other non-pharmacological interventions. And that we cannot do because the, the efficacy of those kinds of interventions, wearing masks, social distancing, don't go to the bar, all of those things is clear. Those things prevent or at least slow down the spread of this disease. And people working in public health are all over that. It is a tough business. Another problem, of course, is that testing. Uh, there are huge testing backlogs, things like that that are going on that can affect the data. And so the last thing that I wanted to do looking at what I was looking at was cause anyone to question the, the integrity of public health infrastructure more generally or the importance of, of public health interventions. And so, again, in my gut, uh, I still might bet a bottle of beer that there's something that's a little bit rotten in Denmark, uh, but I'm not going to make the strong claim, and I am certainly not going to make the claim in a way that could lead anyone to imagine that somehow what we are seeing with the pandemic 
is just a consequence of people monkeying with data uh, or that somehow public health measures weren't important or weren't working. I, I absolutely do not want to leave any kind of impression like that. Uh, you know, it, yeah, it's, it's never fun to have to take something down. Um, on the other hand, as I, as I tell people, I am a, I am a scientist. I, I care about my integrity around these things more than I care about anything else. And I frankly care about the data themselves more than I care about, about myself. So that's where I am. That's why I took those earlier posts down. I hope that people will continue to look at these data very, very carefully. I know that I will. Uh, and I also hope that you continue to, to watch and enjoy my stuff. Place where I'm actually putting most of my energy these days of this sort, uh, when I'm not actually working for a living, um, doing this kind of stuff is looking at the question of schools reopening this fall and the many reasons why that is a, a probably a pretty dicey proposition. For those who are still with me, you poke around on my site and see some of that uh, and go look at what happened in Israel when they decided to open schools and look at the consequence for the pandemic after that. Um, and then don't worry about the handover from the CDC to the HHS and start worrying instead about what's going to happen if we actually try to put kids and teachers back in classrooms face to face this fall. Anyway, I thank you very much for your time and hope to see you again soon.